What's up everybody, a Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Inspiration series. We're starting things off today with a user submission, or not user, viewer? I always say user or subscriber, but viewer submission, essentially. Um, this is the, as you can see, thankfully, <clears throat> Somebody just didn't want me to have to remember what the name of this ship was. Um, but this is the USS Wanderer. Now, this is a modded build, but it's a world file, so you don't have to worry about um, installing all the mods. Um, I was contacted by Commander Not Puppers, which is a... I find it a pretty funny name. Uh, which I believe, after looking at the Steam Workshop file, is the actual builder. Um... But this is designed to be a semi-futuristic, um, but also kind of realistic ex exploration type craft, like a science vessel type thing. Um, my kind of ship, though, in that it's entirely run off of solar powers and batteries, which I can get behind, because you all know how much I like my renewable energy sources in video games. Um, I am, I think these are doors, like hangar doors. Maybe? Yeah, they're doors. But I'm looking for kind of the main door here. Um, there's a couple of interesting things with this, which I, I get the, the realism side. It probably had a hand in the design of it. Um, that there's no gravity generator or jump drive, I believe, if I recall correctly from the description. And apparently no main door. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that well. No, I shouldn't say that because like this, I am just blind uh, when it comes to doors. So blame the uh, blame the viewer, not the doors, or blame the viewer, not the build. <laughs> That's probably how it should work. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of rem other. Hmm, I can never find the, the the box for this door. I had this problem in my own build actually. There we go. This one will probably leave... Oh, right, no gravity. This one will probably just leave open. Whee! Um, but yeah, with no gravity actually within the design... Ah, oh, screw it, we'll just leave it open. Um, it relies heavily on mag boots. And it also, in my opinion, would affect the design. Because like this, you can put stuff on the top and the bottom and the sides and all this, and eventually it becomes a plausible... Um, area, because now you're this way, or whatever. Um, and again, I also had a design similar to this idea a long, 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 long time ago when I was still working on my attempt at a capital vessel. I tried to do this in the reactor room where you could do top and bottom, and it was an interesting idea, but I never quite followed through with it to execute it properly, so this is cool, though. Um, I get the semi near future type vibe though that I can see like that's kind of how we do stuff now as far as I know with our current spaceships is like we don't have gravity generators and things that I know of if we do that's really cool I didn't think we had any of that yet so um ooh, we have some new modage going on here that I don't recognize let's um Let's grab a welder and see if we can't identify some of this. HM Medical Cabinet. Don't remember that ever being a thing. Must all be part of the same mod, because none of this I recognize. Though it looks like... I can't tell if that's actually a screen or not. It is. Oh, wow. That's cool. Um, then we have a med bay, obviously. So this was the examination room prescription pickup. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's funny. <laughs> they actually have a pharmacy on their ship. I mean, I don't know. I laugh, but you probably do need something like that, I would imagine. I mean, you don't just want people taking whatever pills they want if you had, like, a doctor on board or something. And it's not exactly like you can just go back and forth to your local Walgreens or something, so yeah, I guess you might need a pharmacy, but it's just stuff that like, nobody would think to put that on their ship. You know. Uh, well, other than, apparently, Commander, not Puppers. But, um... <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's one of those, like, you don't see that in, like, Star Wars 
and stuff. Now, grant you, was this the command deck again? To command and control. Oh, to crew quarters. Okay, I got turned around. Is a little easy to get turned around when you don't have, like, gravity and stuff to keep you kind of grounded in your orientation of where you're headed. But I do think that the overall effect is cool on this ship. Though, I gotta say this. I will have to say this. I'm a little bit confused as to the direction. Like, the fact that these are the way they are, so you would think this is the floor, but then lockers is where we can read it, and this one is, like, upside down? I would have thought it would have gone the other way. You know, does that make sense? That's the only thing that I've seen so far that's just a little surprising, is that the closest one to you is the one that's inverted. Just seems a little bit odd. There might be a reasoning behind it. I did not read anything about it in the description, though, so... Um, I have no idea, but there's lockers that way, and... Showers are this way. Cool. Cool. Um, okay, so that's the crew quarters. To hydroponics goes this way. Ooh! I do think... I don't know. I'm a little mixed on whether or not there should be, um, like a hydroponics food system in Space Engineers. I mean, there is an Empyreon, and it doesn't really hurt anything, and it's kind of cool. Uh, but if we could get something like this rolling in Space Engineers, like, officially in the vanilla, that would be kind of cool to actually have hydroponics and stuff like that set up. Um, a little less normal than what Empyreon did of just, like, you know, plant things and grow them, but actually having, like, hydroponics and stuff. Now, this is interesting. I mean, uh, all the lighting glitches aside, because that's part of the, just the main game at the moment. Um, to observation ring... Ooh! We have an observation ring, do we? Uh, one important thing to point out is none of this ship is pressurized. Hello. This is trippy. I don't know why, but the visuals down these hallways and stuff is just kind of trippy to me. Um, but yeah, so bear that in mind if you wanted to like load it in as some kind of survival type ship, is that it's not actually hooked up to be pressurized. Um, so that would have a little bit of an effect. Just saying. Okay, so that's the floor here. We got all of our workout and entertainment type stuff. That's pretty cool. What is that? That's probably to the observation ring as well as well as all these. I was wondering where these doors went. What about this one though? Ooh, to hangar. There's a hangar. Why, hello. Light flickering. Looks like an old horror movie. Like Alien or something. Um, this is a cool little pod. Or a little shuttle type thing. I like it. Oh, and it's got little solar panels. That's so cute. That's adorable. Um, that is a mod. Good lord, they need to fix the lighting. That really is, like, main game thing as far as I'm aware. That's that's not a mod or anything malfunctioning. That's just the main. Ooh, this is pretty cool. Looks like... Are these different kinds of cargo containers? I don't remember them looking like that. Maybe I just don't deal with a large ship grid or that big of a container. <laughs> and this is what? An arc furnace? Cool. Cool. And we've got some batteries there, which is the source of the power for the ship. Alright, so next we need to check out the bridge. So overall, I think it's a very interesting design as far as um, it's not really your typical um, stylized design. It does have more of a how we would probably build it within the next, you know, decade or so type design. I don't know. I mean, I'm no NASA expert or anything, but just... I do like the bridge. I saw the bridge in the screenshots, and I thought the bridge looked really cool. Um, but it... yeah, so it's kind of a nice blend between sci-fi functionality, but yet has kind of a current design style to it. Um, it was also said in the description it's designed to... what are these? Gates and emergency shutters. Ooh. What are these emergency shutters we speak of? And I'm not really sure what 
these are. I missed a door somewhere, apparently. I do not see any shutters, so I don't know where those actually are. And the doors are going to be... Yeah, that's going to be the gates, so we don't need to worry about that. I guess we'll open the shutters, because I don't... I don't really see anything changing with that, so I don't really know what's going on there. Also looks like we have some kind of escape pod or something. Science probe or something? I don't know. I don't know what that is. It says something here. Space. Something with a Z. <laughs> I think. I don't know. So, um, we're going to test out the speed. However, uh, the description did say it was designed to essentially coast. And then... Like, basically, I think it's supposed to be done at, like, high speed, and you're just supposed to essentially coast it. And then whenever you actually needed to, then you would use resources, like power and stuff to slow down. It's probably because it's battery run, too. Uh, probably is a big contributing factor to that. So let's see if we can't find these other doors and pod thing. I missed something. Science wing... Which way did I come in? I thought I came in through this. Oh, I guess I didn't. So we have a science wing, like an experiment lab type thing. Where did I come in from? Oh, I came in from there. Okay. I thought I came in through these side doors. I did not. And this one is probably either more of the same, or it's how you get to that little pod down at the bottom. I don't know. Nope. Not how you get to the pod. So I'm wondering if that's, pr that's probably like a remote access thing. Space Z. That is what it says. Okay. Or Space 2? I'm not really sure. Don't know. Um... Oh, you just fly in here. That's not glass. <laughs> well, <laughs> that answers that. So this is some kind of, like, scout escape pod looking type thing. Uh, with that, though, I think we've explored the Wanderer. So we're going to wrap this one up and move on to the next one. Alrighty, so next up we have the <laughs> um, three-in-one... This is the part I'm not sure about. Siem Raggle? That is, there is no way that's right. Uh, freighter. And this was actually another kind of user submission. Or viewer submission. Dang, nabbit, I keep saying. Anyways. Um, so I was actually messaged by, once again, no way this is right. Quartafel? No way that's right. Anyways. Um, who is the builder behind this, I believe about i had actually done uh, this is the same builder that did the two stealth ships i think if i remember correctly and so they contacted me about you know would you would you want to do this one the funny part about this is this is the third time i was like already planning on picking this ship from the workshop list and then i noticed that it was also sent in my message so i guess i mean i guess great minds and all <laughs> we'll go with that. Um, this is actually a very interesting ship, and I'm going to throw out a disclaimer right now. I will probably not actually notice slash utilize or showcase all of the features because I will probably forget something or not remember um, to try something. Because there was a lot of different things mentioned in the in the description that was really interesting, but for the for the most part. The reason it's dubbed a three-in-one is because, as you can see here, there's actually these, like, wing-type parts that are detachable ships held in by merge blocks and connectors, but they're, like, two of its own, of their own thing. Um, which is a really neat, I'd beware of blast, I love that, uh, which is a really neat idea, though, and I forget get exactly which one is which, but this main one I think is supposed to be the freighter while these two are like the cargo, I think? Because I'm saying that because this is where all these storage containers and hydrogen tanks and stuff are, so I'm assuming this is where you would store everything. Uh, but this is the actual like tugboat part that pulls it along, almost like a cab and a trailer on a semi 
kind of thing that this these can be detached but they're two separate ship things i don't know if they have remote blocks or separate cockpits uh but essentially you it, that's why it's a three in one so it's really cool a, a very interesting idea of having separatable parts and stuff that can then fly around on their own um obviously it's also got two little shuttle type i'm thinking they're more shuttle cargo tugs not like any kind of fighters because i don't see any weapons on them um i'm imagining this airlock goes to the bridge so we're gonna head this way so this looks like more of the guts engineering part of the ship there's like the gyroscopes and uh, production and all this. Uh, by the way, I really like these little labels. I'm assuming these are custom textures uh, because the ship is actually a modless build. Uh, but it doesn't have a selected texture thing in here. Hmm. Hmm. Fascinating. So I'm not really sure, but I think those are custom textures. Either that or there's some kind of script black magic-y stuff. I guess is possible. You could do pixel art, but it doesn't look that way. It looks more like texture stuff, but I've never really messed with custom textures all that much, so I, I don't I don't really know. Engineering lights, assembler starboard, assembler port, and this, the batteries for the ship. Um, so you can see we have the MRA there, LRA. Hmm, interesting. I would have expected, like, LRA and RRA for, like, left and right, but I don't know what the M is for. Um, and then S is for the main ship. So, but like I said, I think this is more of the engineering guts kind of part, because I don't see much in the way of, like, an actual interior, per se. Though I am curious how you're supposed to access um, the other ship parts, like where those connection points actually... I was thinking there'd be an airlock or something back here that would connect you to it, but I don't see one. So it's possible these are just remote type ships. Possible. Um, as you can see here, that's, that's the other reason I'm thinking is because I don't see any kind of connecting airlock tunnel walkway type thing, so I'm guessing they're just remotely piloted? Possibly. Alrighty. So this is the actual, like, main part of the ship. The bridge. Uh, what do we have here? Bridge displays. Empty. Bridge lights. And position lights. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna assume these are all on already. It looks like it. And the displays are active. Now, that is a brilliant piece of naming convention right there. Potato, or pot, potet OS, but it's like potatoes. That's, that's, I love that. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <sighs> okay, so where does this go now? I thought, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm confused. This is probably the main like flight seat type thing, right? Whoop, moving the ship, trying to move my view. Raycast, rangefinder, and then we've got information there. Oh, 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 we've got a, wait, is that a fold down? If it's a fold down, I'm in love. Y'all know how much I like fold down and rotating and stuff for the screens. Oh, this whole thing rolls down, does it? No, please, maybe? No. Well, then why is there a screen up here? That seems like a weird way to do it. Hmm. Suspicious, if you ask me. It is on a rotor, but I don't think it would go anywhere. It doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Anyways, let's see what's up here. Because I don't know where this goes. Oh. I guess this is an actual airlock. Oh, I'm glad I went up here. This is the main part of the ship, it looks like. There's cryo bays, med bay, uh, and by main, I mean another room. <laughs> Whoops. Med bay lights, uh, oxygen generators, LCD, 
Yeah, LCD decals. There we go. So let me guess. Aha! Success. So it is some kind of texture thing. Makes sense. Engineering lights. Okay. Why there's an airlock between the bridge and the med bay? I'm not 100% sure. Other than just maybe preference. Um, ah! Pal 9000. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um, so let's see here. What do we got? Camera, port connectors, merge blocks, jump drives, and programmable for the range finder. Now let's just double check and see if this is any different. It doesn't look like it. I wasn't sure if either one of these would be like a main cockpit or not. Jump drives one and two, antennas, ore detector, lights, beacons, good stuff. Stuff we need. Batteries, gyroscopes, reactors, assemblers, stuff, stuff and things. Okay. So I don't see any way to get this to roll down. I guess you're just supposed to look up at it, but I that's that's a little interesting to me. Oh wow, so it moves really quick for a freighter. I'm gonna say that right now. And of course, we gotta try we gotta try the undocking thing. So let's see, what would work better? Merge blocks first, I guess, or maybe connectors? Let's do connectors first. Uh and then merge blocks. Oh, it's kind of detaching. Kind of had a hard time with that. Um, there's a little bit of that uh, catwalk there. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there or not. I'm also not seeing um, this this work on. Oh wait, do you have to get on the other control? Ah, that's probably what it is. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. So that's how it would detach. It does look like that catwalk should not have stayed there. And then you have these two separate ones. That's pretty awesome. Oh, and we also have a little ghost one over there, too. Now, this made me wonder, though. I'm wondering if... Okay, that's for the little drones. Okay, I was wondering if there would be a separate main cockpit and those were actually in charge of running the two things. Um, I didn't see... I could have just missed it, but I didn't see a remote block for any of this stuff. So I'm wondering if that's just detachable or if there's actually a way to fly these. The other question would be if there's actually a manual entrance on the these like that are dislodged, but I didn't see a way in on these. That doesn't mean anything though. I mean, I'm the guy that has a freaking door timer for <laughs> for how long it takes him to find a door. So you know, that doesn't mean that there isn't a door here. That's why I mentioned before about, like, you know, kind of the disclaimer of I might miss stuff. Because I might. And I may have. But I think that's going to do it for this one. Let's move on to the last one. Alrighty, and last but not least, we have the Graf Zeppelin. Now, this is an interesting one. Uh, the description was fairly light, so there may or may not be things that I miss because I didn't know about them, but essentially it's designed to be a uh, drone carrier, and that's evident when you turn your HUD on and you can see all the combat drone waypoints. Um, there's a lot of them. Spoiler alert. So it has... I really just like the design of it from like the exterior and stuff like that. It has a really cool kind of look. Um, it does actually from the back kind of, there was a comment on the workshop file at the time that I was picking this one that mentioned it kind of having a Star Wars Imperial vibe. I didn't really get the same vibe until I looked at the back here. It, uh, between the thruster pattern and the, the spine on the back here, it does kind of have a Star Destroyer, uh, bone structure, if you will, if a ship had bones. <laughs> um... I'm not really sure what these little wings on the side are for, other than some kind of blast shield, maybe? Or just decorative wing design is also another option. Uh, this is a modless um, build. It's a blueprint 
so you can just paste it in forthwith. Which is surprising, actually, because these do not look like regular turrets. So what is going on? Oh, they're custom turrets. Ah, and very well made, if I do say so myself. Because actually, from a distance, I thought they were custom, like, mods. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, I didn't have any mods to this world. How's this happening? Um, yeah, those are pretty cool. Those are pretty cool turrets, actually. All right, so the next thing on the agenda is what else? Find the door. Okay, so these rotors actually do look like they were just put in there to give you the angles. Um, so that you had these cool little angle shapes and things. So, yeah, I re ooh. And we have rockets in the front. That's always fun. Uh, so obviously we have the hangar doors here on the side with projectors to kind of emulate the uh, shield type style, which is a really cool effect. I know there's a door around here somewhere. There usually is. Uh, is there one on the back? Maybe? I really don't want to use the door timer, mainly because of how much editing is involved in getting it to work properly, and since I'm recording this very last minute, I don't really have a whole... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. So these are not like combat drones like little bricks. They are like stealth bomber looking drones. That's beast. I didn't remember seeing those in the screenshots for the for the uh, workshop file. That's pretty awesome, though. I am instantly more excited about this build than I already was. Um, and we're kind of gonna probably cheat a bit here and just fly through the shields and see if there's a door in here I can use. <laughs> yeah, I ended up recording this one very very last minute. Um, again, just due to personal stuff and scheduling thingy-mobobbers. Um, so I really don't want to add a whole lot of time to my um, editing time by trying to add Ah! I found it! Never mind, I talked my way. I talked long enough. I bought myself enough time. I stalled. Oh, there's gravity. Okay. Stalled long enough I could find an airlock. We're good. Okay. Oh yes, I did. I did forget the UESC part of the of the name. Am I um? Am I slow mo running? I am slow mo running. So our frame rate's fine, but our sim speed is terrible at the moment. It looks like. Um. So we've got some lockers and a very nice observation couch for those new arrivals. Um. So let's see what else is involved in this ship. I'm probably not going to spend a whole lot of time on the drones themselves, but I do want to... CIC and docking is down. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but it's very cool. Um, especially if it's like a real-time script thing for radar, that would be awesome. Alright, what do we got here? Connector carrier one switch lock. Oh, spirits. So the spirits are the drones, the combat drones, I guess. So that's all the switch locks for them. Uh, though there's different kinds by the looks of things. So the spirits must be the actual like bomber looking stealth fighter ones I mentioned before. And the other ones dubbed, I guess, Ares? I think that's what that says. Um, those must be a different kind. Rear hangar, authorized personnel only. Are we authorized? Who knows? engine room to an observation deck. Where's this go, though? Uh, oh! What was that? Oh, that's kind of cool. This has been left damaged, so it makes little sparking arcs and stuff. That's pretty awesome. It's dangerous, dangerous. <laughs> warning, 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 warning. No damage blocks found, except for that one. Um, battery readouts and all that kind of stuff. I wonder... No, I was going to say I wonder if that's using the nanobot thing to find damaged blocks and ignore that, but it's a modless build, so that can't be right. Must just be one of the scripts. All 
All right, we just have an information readout there. We have an elevator looking area here with a weird little stop there. Okay. I guess now we're up on the bridge or, oh, this is the observation deck, not the bridge. Okay. That's unexpected. It's cool, but it's unexpected because I really would have thought this was the bridge. Hmm. Suspicious. All right, so let's head back down this way then, because this thought I was, I got a little turned around. I'll admit, I thought I was headed for the rear hangar somehow. Um, since that said engine room and oh, okay, I got you now. They're not the same on both sides. I often expect them to just be the same on both sides when you have a door like that. Forget that there's no real like restriction of you have to do it that way. So here's the rear hangar complete with a little workshop workbench thing. I'm guessing that's the rear hangar door. We don't really need to mess with that. So I guess the next step is CIC and playing around with... Oh, you know what, though? Oh, this is probably engine room two. Never mind. Yep, another engine room. Okay. So it was saying... I was reading these signs wrong. I was thinking they were both that way. It was saying engine room is this way, and then the one with the arrow goes that way, so... That's my bad. I'm tired, leave me alone. Um, hangar and bridge. So I guess this is considered the CIC. This is a cool little way to do that angled LCD screen. I really like that effect. Um, let me through. Thank you. Alright, secondary bridge. Wait, where was the primary bridge? <laughs> was that the CIC? And the drone hangar. Uh, and the med bay, apparently. That apparent that somehow got left off the list. Okay, so we have what on these sides? Cryo bays? Is that it? Yeah, cryo bays on this side. Cryo bays on that side. And then we have the drone hangar. I kind of wanted to go down this way just to see the other drone types, because I've seen those other ones, the stealth fighter looking ones, but I haven't seen these. Oh, these are cool too. None of them are just like bricks. That's the way I would design a drone, you know, just minimal, small as possible. These are like fighters. You could just throw a cockpit right here instead of a camera, and now it's a fighter jet. That's pretty awesome. And cargo pods. No oxygen? We don't care. I don't remember seeing any car uh, cargo. Oh, I see. Okay, this is like the cat walked out in front of the large cargo containers. Gotcha. I was thinking they were actually like room pod things, and I was like, I don't remember seeing anything like that. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can't find this. Where where did the secondary bridge go? Where'd the primary bridge go? I mean, I am not the most um, directionally sound person in the world when it comes to uh, showcasing these builds, but am I just completely blind and missed both bridges? Um, oh, there's the med bay room. Okay, it was it was still left on the sign. Secondary bridge. Where? I... Like, I literally... I normally at least have an idea of things that I missed. I don't know where these things were. And I'm pretty sure... I'm not 100% sure, but I'm fairly sure that when I was down here, this one said CIC. Or something, which I guess could double as a bridge. Yeah, CIC is this way. I, I I don't know where the bridge is, unless this is the bridge. But this seems more like I don't know drone operation or something. Um, actually, let's just uh, toggle the switch lock there. I want to see what happens. Like, does it does it fly down? No. I don't think those actually do anything. All right. Um. Hmm. I guess we're just gonna have to borrow a flight seat from the CIC 
and just roll with it. I don't know if this is the right place to do this or not, but screw it, whatever. Okay. We have thrusters, turrets, connectings for or connectors for the docking port one. Merge block one. Connector docking port two, merge block two, advanced rotor antenna, all hangar gates, rear hangar gates. Or rear hangar. Um no way to control the drones, though. I wonder if that's a different flight seat. Alright, so I guess four? We'll turn the merge block off for the same one we turned the switch lock off for, right? Is that how this works? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I can't get these things to fly. Um, let's try another seat. Ah, here we go. Remote Aries 1 and 2. Uh, what about the spirits? That's the one I was looking for. Spirit 4. Wait. Spirit 3. Oh, I wonder if it's on the other side. Probably on the other side. So, 2. And 1. This is the one I was looking for. I oh, I can't get it because I already undocked it. Alright, well, let's do 2 then, now that I moved the ship. Um, so we'll remote fly to, um, I don't see a merge block for anything, so that must have been for something else. Whoops. Okay. And then forward. Thrusters on. Forward. Down. Wait. What is happening? <laughs> I'm, I, I, am I stuck? Maybe I have to open all the gates? I thought the gates were for the other things. Um... I have no idea what I'm doing. Oop. Maybe? I think it's the connector, honestly. I think the connector's mag grip is just pulling the ship back. There we go. Yeah, that's what it was. I think? Am I somehow still tethered? Woo! Here we go. Okay. Whoops! Oh, I exited the thing and it dropped the... Oh well. And now my camera is locked because the camera is very dumb. There we go. I really, really like that drone design style thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, while we're here, let's just give it a little bit of a, a test run. Oh, it moves like a carrier. Moves like a carrier should. Um, for some reason, I think it's because I'm facing sideways, and so the orientation is wrong. <laughs> so that's the forward speed. Wow, it's slow. I mean, it's a carrier, so it should be, right? Anyways, I think that's going to do it for us for this episode. We're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Stupid camera. And I will see you all next time. Peace.